society to surround themselves with with the, with good people because if a person is get, getting taken advantage of over and over and over again it's not so much you know the women's fault it's also his fault yeah, there's something that he's not person, doing. yeah it's a low window the person to take advantage of him you know but yeah, still other women are abusive you know of course you know and i'm not justifying the women at all however I mean, why is it that you're not breaking this pattern? I mean, yes. what what's in you that is in that is validating these women's action? I mean, if if it happens once, I, there's a saying in English: uh, if if it um, if it happens once, shame on them. If it, if it happens twice, shame on you. Yeah, because you did not learn that. the lesson. Yeah, yeah, because you've not learned the lesson. So I'd be, I would have a lot of compassion for those so-called beta uh, guys. Um, and it happened to women as well, you know. There is some good, good girls, you know. They are being taken advantage yeah. of, or, or, or evil guys, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it happens. I mean, whether they're men or, or or women, people do take get taken advantage of, and um, and I, my my hope is that they grow out of it they learn from it and they just learn to recognize certain patterns and so mm -hmm. that they don't repeat them and yeah. so that eventually they can just be make better choices and allow better people in their lives. Exactly. Uh, um, I like your comment, you know, about this uh, question. So uh, another question, uh, Chris, should a woman, should, should, should women be submissive or strong in a relationship with a man? <laughs> you can be both. Yeah. You can be both. I uh I let you know I'm a did, very did you watch woman. by any chance do you watch that video? I don't know if I sent it to you, you know, uh, by WhatsApp or in your Instagram uh messenger. Um that is it's called a uh, Israeli girl versus uh one of the guys, you know, for another program. Yeah. And um she I was telling the, you, you you saw it. Yeah, yeah, but go ahead and, and talk yeah, about yeah. it a little you bit. Saw it? Well, this guy was, it's a, for another um, channel that is called The Roommates. And this was criticizing the, this girl because he was too too masculine, you know. Uh, he says that you are the worst person to marry because you are you are too independent. I mean, uh, he, these guys need a woman to stay quiet and accept all the words that they are saying, you know. But yeah. guess what? He's an idiot. Yeah, He's an idiot. What? That's my that's comment. Yeah, yeah, guess what? This guy at the same time invite Courtney Ryan, that is a girl from Cleveland. Uh, she has her own uh, podcast, you know, in YouTube. And guess what? He stayed quiet, you know, because now uh, he didn't, he he wasn't really that aggressive towards her because uh, he he was saying, you know, I like to be independent. I like to respect a guy and everything like that to be equal, you know. But uh, obviously, the Israeli girl was being that they were trying to to make her submissive, you know, um, with a he guy. Was a bully. You know? Yeah, he this was bully. a bully. Yes, bully. he's bullying. I mean, and the poor girl. I mean, I honestly, I really wanted to get in there and just uh, defend her, but he he's just a bully. I mean, his his uh, his arguments are just weak, very weak. I mean, um, had I been there, a woman that that is not so kind as the uh, the uh that one girl i don't know what her name is uh yeah. would have probably checked him real quick because it doesn't take a very intelligent person to check a man like that i mean uh and he's he, from he's israel just, you know in, in israel uh, get women uh, all men and women they have to do their um let's say uh military service uh, uh -huh. for women is two years and for men uh -huh. is three years so obviously, mm -hmm. if you most of the time, if you meet uh, Israeli girls, they're very they have a let's say a, a, a strong uh, temper or some or, or let's say that they don't you, you cannot really say, hey, do this. I mean, for example, if they, if they encounter with a macho guy, they will not tolerate, you know, uh, to be treated like servants or mates. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. if, you, if yeah. you watch another video that I that clip that I uploaded. Mm -hmm. The, there is Myron, one of Myron, not Byron. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's telling a girl that just uh, spilled 
some of the alcohol, you know, on the table by accident and say, hey, just bring those paper towels and clean the table. You did it. I mean, it was, it was uh, his guest, you know, and he was giving orders in front of a live audience. I mean, instead of saying, you know, I, I'm bringing the paper towels and I say, hey, can you help me clean the table? You know, that's different, you know, but he was saying like a servant, like a maid, you, okay, you, you spill the, uh, on the table, uh, please clean my table. And not even please, you know, just do it. I, I mean, uh, Had he said that to me, I would have taken the rest of the drink and I would have just threw it on his face. That would have been good, I mean, you know, but it, it will happen sooner or later. Because like I said, you know, yeah. there he, he's now trying to show the people all these, all these followers that these guys have, they will have a lot of problems, you know, having a healthy relationship with women. Because the way they're yeah. They are telling them how to treat women, even though some of them they're, they've been uh, I mean rude with uh, with them. I mean, still it's because they're just talking about sex and alcohol and I mean uh, and the money. I mean, there's really no yeah. point of saying. I mean, okay, you have to be submissive because a hundred thousand years ago, you know, always the men is the one that take charge and women has to stay stay quiet with the children on the cave or in a tent or whatever, you know. But now we're yeah. in the 21st century. And they're yeah. saying they're saying only 10 to 20 percent of men in the United States that they have access to have intimacy with women. I mean, that's that's not true. For example, if the, all the guys that works in a Walmart, that means that they they are not capable to have a girlfriend. You just imagine that. I mean, they're wrong. They're saying 10 or 20 percent only in the United States of men they are capable of having a girlfriend or intimacy or a lover or whatever. I said, well, I see here in California that everybody can have a girlfriend. Doesn't matter, mm -hmm. you, it doesn't matter your income. Yeah, I think he's just projecting his own insecurities on people, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, he himself, if he doesn't make a certain amount of money, and who knows if he actually makes that kind of money. <laughs> I think, you know, somebody told him, you need to make X amount of money or else you're not going to be a, 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 a man uh, high, high value high man, man. <laughs> 100k or more that they consider oh a God. high value man yeah. that earns 100k and, or more yeah and he's he's you know yeah he believed it you know he believed it and it's unfortunate because he's leaving living with with that um with that little person on his ear it doesn't make sense you know i think this i think this guy went through through a really bad trauma and yeah. he's scarred from it and he's just projecting this insecurity on everyone else. And I don't know how he went from having 200 subscribers to 200,000. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think it's just, maybe maybe the show is entertaining. For me, it's just toxic and it's just stupid. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I, I believe that the problem is uh, that all these followers, they, they believe maybe that uh, this is the way to have a, a healthy relationship or, or dominate women, you know, around the, the world. Meanwhile, they're, they're really maybe are going to be single forever with this type of, uh, of education that they're receiving from these two guys, you know, that they are single. <laughs> Just yeah. one, well, I mean, stay single until they change their mind so that they don't put any woman through hell with that kind of like, um teaching yeah i know i mean it, that's it, it's wrong but who knows you know what will happen with these guys anyway uh let's keep going for the next question so now um you know what what is the definition of hypergamy Do, have you heard about that uh word hypergamy i had to google it because you sent it to me yeah uh, well, hypergamy is let me tell you what it is is uh go ahead it's for it's about women that they are always looking for a higher status men financially. Is it always uh, women? Uh, is it always women? Well, well uh, hypergamy is is towards women. Yes. You sure? Because I didn't well, see that. Well, but well, well, well yeah. I, let me tell you why. Because for example, if a guy is looking for a woman that earns more money, you know, than him, I mean, it it still happens. But it's not that common, you know? It's more common that a girl is looking for a guy that is rich or has more money than her. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. 
So, um, uh, for example, you and Byron, you know, I, mean, I don't know about your financials, you know, but obviously you work together, but uh, it was not really in your mind to look for a rich guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there, there's men out there that actually, I know a lot of people in my circle, I know a lot yeah. of married couples uh, where the woman makes a lot more money than the man. Oh, uh, really? It's just, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's not uncommon. Uh, a lot of my girlfriends uh, are very independent and they, they, you know, they, they, they went to school, they, or they have their businesses and they make more money than the man and, and the marriage works. However, uh, there are women that are um, what they're called gold diggers. Uh -huh, yeah, um, yeah, gold diggers. Yes, yes, gold exactly. Diggers. Well, you know, uh, I don't support it. <laughs> uh, to each their own, um, but it happens, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, well, uh, gold diggers are more. I mean, in a female situation, you know, there are more women gold diggers than men. Statistically, <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my other question will be, you know, I mean, this is something that obviously you want to avoid this type of women, you know. I mean, just you are going to notice immediately, you know, who, which girl wants only your money, you know, and not, yeah, it's not going definitely. to love you because the person you are. Okay, and now, uh, does men should cares about the women money earnings? <laughs> should they care? Yeah, I mean, for example, there is some men that they are a shame or maybe won't like that his girlfriend or wife that will that to earn more money than him because you know what people will say <laughs> uh i mean are we talking about married you know people that yeah, are yeah, married not married people <laughs> yeah sometimes they're ashamed you know that the men should earn more money than the than the women so uh if i were to meet someone a husband and yeah. he tells me i do not like the fact that my wife makes more money than i do um I would probably think, I don't know that I would say this out of respect, but I would think, man, I mean, that's, you guys are married. Her money is your money. Your money is uh, her money. So you guys are living under one roof. Yeah. If, you know, I, I work in sales, so I make commission, I get commission checks. I mean, not every month I get a huge commission check, but when I do, I come home and I tell my husband, Hey, I got a commission check of X amount of dollars. <laughs> he gets happy. I mean, it'd be not so intelligent of him not to get happy because that money, it's for us. It's for the both of us to have a better quality of life. Why would you be so upset that, <laughs> that your wife makes more money than, than you? Also, I mean, that has to do with um, a lot of insecurity yeah. within himself. I mean, be happy that your wife is shining. Exactly. Be happy that she's succeeding. Uh, and if you really want to achieve that level of success, whatever that may be, um, work harder. Yeah, I or agree get with that. You know, job. like I said, I mean, on, on, on all these questions, it's about these guys, you know, that they're, like I said, you know, the macho guys. And, all, and obviously, it has to be a little bit of concern about the the male community in the United States because they're, they're, they believe, and obviously, women are against what these guys are, are the, the word they're, Telling the world, you know, how men should behave and how women should behave. But okay, anyway, let's go to the next. This is a good one. Reasons for divorce. Infidelity, domestic violence, economic problems. What, what will be the reason that do you believe a woman or a man should divorce the other person? It Valid was reasons. infidelity. Infidelity? Do you, do you believe that infidelity? One of the reasons. Oh no no no! I mean, say the reasons again. Infidelity. Yeah yeah. Reasons what I have most of the time is uh, infidelity, domestic violence, and economic problems, or financial financial problems. Um. I mean, all those three reasons. You know, um, I personally will not tolerate domestic violence. Okay. Um. Uh, I think you know money problems is you know, you can fix that if you work as a team, yep. you can, 
you can work together on a budget or perhaps uh, get a second job uh, or, you know, uh, there, there's just many, many ways you can go about fixing money, money problems. Yeah. Um, infidelity, I think it happens. Yeah. Um, I, you know, God forbid, I don't know how, how I would react if that were to happen to me in my marriage. So yeah. right now that I have, I myself have not gone through that in my marriage. Uh, I would say that I would do my very best to work through that because I think, um, you know, if I think of, if I, if you were to have 20 different couples that have been married for 60 plus years, you know, those couples, have you ever met people that have been married for yeah. 60 years? Um, if, if you were to sit down with 20 of those couples, I would say statistically at some, the majority of them at some point probably went through an infidelity and it's not because they, they don't respect each other or they didn't love each other. It's because they were married for over 60 years. Does that make sense? That's a long time. Um, and I'm not making a justification that is definitely not, you know, me saying that my husband, it's okay that my husband cheats on me or that I will cheat on him. However, we're we're human it, it, it it's when you say i do at the altar i feel that you should know that you're marrying a person that also has a sinful nature not because he's a bad person or she's a bad person but because because he or she's human does that make sense yeah yeah and understand yeah. that you know yeah it's, it's difficult for example i don't know what percentage of marriage people in the United States, let's say, you know, Europe, I mean, I, I'm talking about maybe uh, first first world countries, you know, uh, what's the percentage of the infidelity, you know, between men and women, because now in South America and uh, Central America and Mexico, you know, I remember that there was a magazine that I read in 2008, I still remember, this magazine mm -hmm. it was called Q. I believe it's not anymore. It's not anymore. It's not anymore printing in Mexico anymore. But um, they made um, a survey, you know, about how many who who is more in, uh, unfaithful, uh, men or women. And uh, after a few thousands of people that they asked the, the questions, you know, obviously uh, under the table or something like that, you know, I mean not saying the names or the faces of these people that participated in the survey. Um, it was in 2008, 60% uh, of the men said that they've been unfaithful or they were unfaithful. 60% of 100% of the survey in men. And then 40% of the women, they said that they, they've been unfaithful or they were unfaithful. Uh, from 100% of the thousands of women, you know, they made a survey. So that, that was in 2008. So probably right now in 2021, maybe it's already even uh, according to the, I mean, the, the statics, you know, because we, I, I believe that women are more smart when they're going to be unfaithful. If they don't want the, their boyfriend or husband you know, to know about the infidelity, for example, men, they say, oh, that they're hiding themselves, you know, from infidelity and women can say, oh, he's my friend. <laughs> that most of the time that, that can happen, you know, but yeah, but yeah. But You're saying I mean, the women can like be more sneaky? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but in Mexico, I, I believe now in South America, uh, I'm talking about um, South America, Mexico, Central America, United States, Europe, uh, I believe the infidelity is now even between men and women. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, it's really unfortunate. And, and I don't know the stats on that either. Um, yeah. However, you know, going back to your question, I think, you know, um, uh, domestic violence would be the reason why I would probably leave a relationship. Yeah, um, yeah that, that's too much. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous mm -hmm. to your health, you know, and, uh, and and some women, you know, I still, I still live with that those type of people you know like oh, we were talking before the, the the podcast about women to be um violent you know towards their boyfriends or or husbands you know the other way around yeah and, yeah um, 
And sometimes these guys, they don't want to say anything to the authorities, you know, to PD and nothing like that, because they are a chain, you know, that would say, oh, yeah, hey, come on, you're a guy, you know, defend yourself or something like that. But for sure. I mean, yeah. for example, if a, if a woman beats a guy with an object or something, uh, probably nothing will happen. I don't know, in the United States, the laws are according that it looks to, to be even, you know, in Europe, for example, if the husband, the, if the wife or girlfriend um, punch the guy, you know, in the face with an object or something and cause a bruise or something, obviously now he has an evidence, take pictures or something, go to the PD and probably they are going to separate themselves or, and, and the guy even can sue, you know, or take it to court, you know, to the, uh, the girlfriend or wife. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. Uh, I, I believe that is more, still there is more um, men, more violent towards women than women towards men, I, probably. Who knows? Um, yeah. It's possible. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. And uh, okay, mm -hmm. another question. Will you give your Instagram password to your husband? He has it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he really? has it. Um, okay. Yeah, he has it. Yeah, okay. I have his for mine. Um, <laughs> we share okay. the same computer. Um, he's logged in. Um, you know, uh, on we're both logged in on our computer, and we save our passwords on our computers. Okay. Probably not the best thing for hackers. Yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, it's never been a problem. I mean, since we that's we good because dating. you trust each other. That's good. You know, it's good uh, because they were talking about that. You know, that song. Women, I mean, that they said I only will give my password to my husband, you know. I mean, not really like uh, a boyfriend. Well, you know, uh, let me think back. So we did it for five and a half years, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think he gave me he if I needed his password for whatever, uh, he probably would have given it given it to me. Um, I did have access to his phone. Like he uh remember we have we both have we've always had iPhones, so <laughs> up until like uh, a year ago, we had the iPhone where you save your thumb, pr your print, your fingerprint on yeah. on your iPhone, and that way it opens up. He had his his uh, thumb print yeah, the, um, the, yeah. on my iPhone, so he yeah. could access my iPhone and vice versa. Okay. Um, even even before we got married, um, that has never been an issue. I mean, if if you're hiding your passwords, you're. I mean, there's a reason. I think you know there's a deeper issue. Yeah. Um, but it's not a problem for us at all. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, that, that that's good, you know, because uh, I believe if the other person don't want to give you the password, it means that he's hiding something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean. Transparency is very yeah. important, like you said. Yeah, I, for example, if I value that woman to be my wife or be living together, I don't have any problems giving her, the, you know, the password because I'm unsure about to be with her, you know, and I don't have any let's say, you know, any plans to hit on her, you know, or do any damage, you know, to, to their relationship. So I will have open, yeah. you know, my conversations or whatever. Even I, I, I have, like, for example, female friends, you know, go ahead, you know, it's a friend, you know, I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. talking nothing about, you know, especially, for example, when I, now that I have this program and then I invite some girls to my program, you know, uh, obviously some, some of them, they're, they're, they're being jealous, but because of the program, you know, itself, like I said, but this is a program I mean, I'm I'm the one that I'm the host, you know, and I you are the guest, and that's it. But yeah, I agree with that. I will not have any problem with the right person to give my password. Yeah. You know, because uh, I mean, that means trust. You know, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, hundred percent. Interesting. Oh, uh, last question about these guys over here. You know, fresh and fit. Uh, the girl in red. Uh, well, obviously, the, these guys were being. <laughs> attacking them, you know, in some way or another, asking, hey, well, you say that women that are in the uh, sex industry, you know, that they are not, they won't be able to have a, a good husband or something like that. But you have been dating uh, many women that on, on this industry, you know, that are strippers or something like that. I mean, because you are a high value man. And he said, well, I don't consider myself a high value man. Or oh, really? Okay. So the other, I mean, so you are not a high value man? No, that, that would be very cocky, he says, you know. He was trying to avoid that question. And uh, mm -hmm. by the end, he never answered the question. And the other guy said, are, are you a, hundred, a high value man? 
the woman the, the woman in red asks the other guy and he says oh no i am poor boy and that, that is a like a type of kentucky fried chicken you know uh fast food restaurants called um how you call it uh chicken uh, i don't remember you know but it's something like a kentucky fried chicken fast but anyway huh? at a fast food restaurant he said i'm a broke boy and yes. i work at a fast food restaurant yeah and uh, yeah uh Chick, 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 F, chick L or something like that, you know. It's a, it's a like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, yeah. He says he worked over Boy. there. <laughs> yeah, and obviously they were trying to avoid. I mean, like I said, it was so easy to say, you know, I always working to be a high value man, but yeah. because they were talking about money, you know, and every, I mean, they got nervous. If you check again, you know that video, they were trapped in the in a question that was so easy, and all these. People that are defending them are saying, I didn't want to give them their financial situation. It's because not it's not always to be to be a rich man, to be a high value man, you know. A high value man can have moral moral values, you know, conscience, you know, mm -hmm. to be educated, not like these guys, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. they, they avoid that question, you know. Hey, hey, it was easy. I always trying to work to be a high value man. And that's it. But that because yeah, were, I think yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Um, what I was going to say is that I think it co comes back to the fact that these guys just have a lot of issues and they're projecting them on their guests. Um, I feel like someone in their past, it could have, it could have been a parent. It could have been a teacher. Someone bullied them so much and created a trauma to where they feel that if they don't make X amount of money, they're, they, they are not a high value man is that yeah is that high what value man the yeah, so, high value man might need to earn a hundred k or more a year <laughs> yeah i mean god yeah, bless you, her i heart. mean like it's for example you wouldn't be married with byron you know and all the girls that i are married with other guys you know that earn i don't know 30 or forty thousand a year you know uh, that doesn't mean that they're not high value men and that i'm talking about ethics you know uh morals you know uh to be a, a reasonable person to be an honest yeah. person, you know? I mean, it's, yeah. it's not only about money. You can have the most dishonest men and women in the world that earns money and they are not high value. They are high value just because of the money. That's different, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're lost. Honestly, <laughs> they're, they're, they're really, really lost. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're really, they're just lost. And they're just, you know, they're just going off of some someone told them a very long time time ago and they're scarred from it and now they're just projecting it onto other people and they're and they're bullies right now they're bullying they're, these they're women. bullying other people yes i understand and you know what they yeah. invite um they invite a, a kickboxer uh it's called his his name is uh, andrew tate and and you know this guy even though he's a 21st century modern guy uh he's 34 years old he agreed with something I like it. He says, you know what? Now I'm 34 years old. I have slept with many women, you know. Um, now I value more a girl that truly loves me, you know, that only sex. I mean, I, I would prefer at this point of my life uh, a woman that really loves me, you know, and respect me for who I am, that only sex. I mean, sex is only, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mechanic, you know, stuff you know i mean it's just a few minutes and that's it but when a person cares about you for me has more value than sex and, and there this guy and you know what one of these guys that is called fresh the the, the darker one you know that the guy uh that is darker with the darkest darker skin he says oh uh, you know what i i only i don't care about anything i only care about having sex and the and my girlfriend or wife needs to be quiet <laughs> Oh, you see my what, i mean this is what they are teaching to the to the people you know to men i mean okay have a girlfriend uh, tell her to stay quiet i only i only have uh, sex or intimacy and that's it just and, and it's a 29 year old guy just see gabriel my, yeah well, you and i don't watch that guy ever again <laughs> he <laughs> I mean, let's just not, you know, he's probably getting a, a, you know, a paycheck from YouTube, from you watching it and from me watching those videos you sent me. Let's not watch him again. Poor guy. Let's just say a prayer for him 
and God bless him. <laughs> He's not in a position to be giving people advice. Uh, yeah. Let's take away the microphone. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I just, I'm not subscribing to them, you know. I was watching, uh, I don't even watch anymore the, their program. I was watching at the beginning because for me, it was good, you know, to have some comments about this program. And obviously, yeah. because I seen so many subscribers and not because I don't have, I, I'm just starting to have subscribers, you know, in my channel. And actually, yeah. let me tell you something, uh, uh, Chris, I mistake and, I, and I'm uh, doing my live program in another channel, you know, but I will go download mm -hmm. my the video and upload it, you know, in the right channel, you know, I was noticed that, you know. Yeah. Yeah.